wanted. And they went on and they read about my life changes and who I was before and who I was after. And tons and tons of girls who go out and drink went on there and they read this blog and they wrote that they were crying when they read it, that they felt like it touched them and that they looked at their life and thought, you know, I need to make changes too. So, alhamdulillah, it, you know, the more that I talk to people about what I was before and then after, the more that they look at themselves and think, can make, you know what, I can do that too. I so, my friends uh, embraced it like that and they respected the decision I made. Do you face any of the challenges in front of people, like as, a, as an American become Muslim, like finding a job or like, for example, after you became Muslim, um, uh, of course you had to quit your job, right? Uh, were you still I stopped uh, working in the clubs uh, that I was photographing in and so I had to find something different, you know, a different area. And uh, when I started to wear the hijab, I noticed some changes that uh, I was interviewing more often than normal for jobs. But um, now that has all kind of been squared away, honestly. I just, uh, I dress nice, I go to the interview and I show them that I have the skills, I have the experience, I have everything. And I haven't really had a problem with it so far, you know, alhamdulillah. So, um, but yeah, it's different, you know, as an American, um, you get a lot of questions, but it just opens up opportunity for Doha when I go around, even around town, people will stop me and ask me, uh, are you Muslim, you know, because they can tell I'm American and I just take the time to tell them, yeah, I am, and I tell them why, and it makes them think, wow. Uh,